The self-fulfilling prophecy is alive, well, and living at your house. If you trust God and have faith for the future, your optimistic beliefs will give you direction and motivation. That is one reason that you should never lose hope, but certainly not the only reason. The primary reason that you as a believer should never lose hope is because of God's unfailing promises. Make no mistake about it, thoughts are powerful things. Your thoughts have the power to lift you up or to hold you down. When you acquire the habit of hopeful thinking, you will have acquired a powerful tool for improving your life. So, if you find yourself falling into the spiritual traps of worry and discouragement, seek the healing touch of Jesus and the encouraging words of fellow Christians. And if you fall into the terrible habit of negative thinking, think again. After all, God's word teaches us that Christ can overcome every difficulty. And when God makes a promise, he keeps it. John Calvin has said, Hope is nothing more than the expectation of those things which faith has believed to be truly promised by God. Kathy Trocoloy has said the most profane word we use is hopeless. When you say a situation or person is hopeless, you are slamming the door in the face of God. Today's timely tip is never be afraid to hope or to ask for a miracle. Make sure to read the proverb in the description below and subscribe if you haven't already. 